Spectra Energy, the third biggest U.S. pipeline operator by market value, reported third quarter earnings this morning. Profit fell because of lower natural gas prices, but Spectra maintained its forecast for earnings per share for the year. We're joined now by Spectra Energy's CEO, Greg Ebel. Greg, great of you to join us. Let's talk about prices, though, because that just seems to be the swing factor. There's been an 89% rally in natural gas futures since the end of August. How confident are you that prices can hold at current levels? Well, I think we've seen a good trend. As you know, most of our business is non-commodity based, and we've seen that business jump by 10%, both in Western Canada, in Eastern Canada, and the U.S. And even the commodity based business is uh, double in the third quarter was what it was in the first and second quarter. So I think the trend's going the right way. Uh, you, we predicted gas to be in the 550 range, uh, six dollar range for this year, and that seems to be about where we are now. You're right; it started to rally, uh, but still down about 40 percent where it was uh, about a year ago. Should people be reluctant, people like yourselves, other CEOs, prognosticators, be reluctant to make forecasts after that drop to 250 that just rattled the whole market? Well, I think for us, you know, we invest in uh, pipelines, infrastructure, et cetera, that uh, are in service for 30, 40, 50 years. So really it's the long-term trend. And I think if you look at natural gas in the four to six dollar range in the long-term view, that's what you're making your investments on, not the day-to-day -day type fluctuations. We're not in the trading business. All right, how about, you, you talk about the long-term trend, obviously that's important for your investments. What do you, how do you feel about spending money next year? Do you still think you're gonna spend a billion dollars? I do, as you know, we uh, put about $600 million of projects in service this year, on time, on budget, they're producing about $80 million in earnings. Next year, a billion dollars, and frankly, we're vectoring in on a billion dollars for uh, 2011 as well. I think it just underlines just the uh, growth in natural gas supplies in this country at a time when, A, we need jobs, at a time when we need uh, lower carbon intensive fuels, which natural gas is. Um, uh, and uh, it's great economically, it's great from energy security perspective, and I think people are recognizing that, and that leads to great opportunities in the nat natural gas infrastructure business. Greg, I want to talk to you about earnings leverage. How much pressure do you feel to cut costs? You had a plan to cut $50 million in costs this year. Is it on track, and do you feel like you need to cut more come 2010? Well, very much we're on track for this year. I see about $50 million worth of, uh, of reductions, which we've already achieved. Uh, we're seeing some real benefits in supply chain side, uh, probably about $45 million of benefits would I would expect to help us again next year. I don't see a massive decline in cuts next year. We're always very conscious on that fun, front, but this is a growing business. As I said, our infrastructure gr business is growing at, you know, 7 to 10%, and uh, obviously when you do that, you do need some more people. In fact, through the recession, our business hasn't actually laid off any employees. We, uh, we continue to employ uh, and hire people. And in fact, the whole natural gas business uh, across the United States is up 17 percent in employment in the last couple of years. So, you know, this is a growing business. This is, a, this is an area in which jobs are created uh, because of the infrastructure growth that's going on. Greg, how about wages? The government would like companies across the United States to pay people more money, help spur the economic rebound. What are you going to do about wages in the coming year? Well, we're very careful on that that front. Last year, they were, uh, you know, two and a half, three percent range. Uh, as you know, many people didn't even uh, provide wage increases. Uh, we we look to be competitive with the market, so we look to pay about the 50th percentile, and I expect we'll look to do that again uh, this year. Obviously, uh, keeping people's taxes low is a good way to keep them uh, the the wages that they do earn in their pockets too. All right, Greg Ebel, the CEO of Spectre Energy, joining us in the wake of the company's third quarter earning report and affirmation of its $1.15 a share forecast for the year.